Greetings, it's Vagram. Back at my little abode. You'll see I've made a change over here. These are pressurized fluid tanks. These are 32 buckets of storage, liquid storage per tank, 64 total. Got a little lever on the head of our zombie friend up there. So I can, he stays full, but active with a signal. If I flip a lever, he starts out putting power to top off our battery. Right now, we actually have a nice capacitor bank back stock of almost 17 million RF. And a big chunk of that is thanks to our zombie buddy and the little uh, the solar panel we got right, in the, right down there, the photovoltaic cell. Now, I have shuffled this corner around. I like it a lot more. There's actually a column of wood in the corner just to make sure nothing would spawn in there. <clears throat> but what I think I actually want to do is slowly start turning these to refined relocation sorting barrels and then put connectors, sorting connectors right there in the corner. That'll be good. That means that I could also put some of those in the floor and connect the chests. We're going to have to start working on that soon. And I think we've got the resources to do it. Um, Upgrades. Steel leggings. I actually got these off killing a lot of bad guys. I put several broken parts together and made a complete pants. Set. I have a dark chest plate now that has got rank one of empowered on it, which means I get diamond protection. And I put glider on that. I'll show you that in just a little bit. I've got boots now. Same thing. Empowered level one. And one boost of jump. I'm not sure I need any more jump than that. These are for a little project we're going to do. Uh, no. So... Yeah, what I actually want to do, let's see, how do I want to do this? Well, let me just go over some other things that I've actually been doing. I have a nice back stock of uh, fluid, thanks to my garden over here. I've transplanted this. Whoops. Um... Transplanted uh, this row of my garden. It was uh, oats, then it was actually sugarcane that I was using for fuel. Well, somebody pointed out to me, a certain Mr. Zaw 4 pointed out to me, that different things have different yields of efficiency. Like mushrooms are actually kind of low. Same goes for uh, some other things when you're doing nutrient solution. Well, this has, they're like a, uh, either a half or a one. I think mushrooms and chicken are a half. 0 0.5 multiplier. Rotten flesh has a 1.5 multiplier. And nether wart has a 1.5 multiplier, which means that we're actually getting a lot more fuel for our buck. Plus, I still have good back stock of rotten flesh. Oh, by the way, you'll notice two enderman heads right there. Some ender pearls. Um, we're doing pretty good on supplies, all told. I've done a lot of mining, as you can see here. I think I have way too much tin. I need to stop mining tin. Um, first thing I need to do is go upstairs. Oh, by the way, I made this. Somebody made the suggestion. Try the steam hammer from Blackbeards to see if you can put attachments for your dark plate and uh, ender IO stuff on there without experience. Unfortunately, the experience cost is hard-coded into Ender I.O., which means I have to use a anvil. Uh, that's very damaged already, really. Um, <clears throat> I can't use this. It won't even work. But I can use this for other stuff, so fingers crossed. Um, let's see. The boiler system is doing really, really good. I think I forgot to tell you guys about the nether crucible. The nether crucible heats up on its own. You'll notice no lava down there. That will melt metal and heat up on its own without a, a fire source needed below it. Which is great for wooden houses. So, yeah. A new tree has grown in place. I cut down the old one. I don't know if you notice. I have a trio of silver woods. And one has a nice little aura node in it right there. Let's see, where do I want to put? I think I'm going to put it right over here. And I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab... Let's put all of this stuff up in there because I'm not going to need it. Have a plethora 
of these herb gardens climbing up the mountain. You'll notice, by the way, that my jump on my boots actually has step assist. I think I'm just going to clear out these herb gardens. There's others that I... There are others that I have been farming. You can kind of force these things to grow. By the way, I don't know. Does anybody know if there's a way to pick up the garden without breaking it so I could transplant some? I would very much like to do that. That would be very cool. That'll give us a little bit of time, I think. We'll see. I'm going to put that, 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 that. So many herbs and seeds. Okay. So. Actually, yeah, I just put a half stack in there. Let me think. I want something that looked cool. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This is poison, but now what I need is a three by three and then around it. We're going to put a little bit of a platform. Let's get this area cleared out around it, make it look nice. And I'm gonna do this is gonna be close. Tight quarters. Um let's put this right here. That's going to look real nice. Now, I am making a, a arrival platform, basically. That is going to be using a device called the Player Relocator from Refined Relocation. It's going to be real useful long-term for us. It's going to allow us some greater travel, I think. I'm gonna leave the corners open. For the possible addition of glowstone. Uh, let me take this one out. Okay. Actually, you know what? If I do this. Yeah, let me go get some glowstone real quick. And head back. Do you what? I need to put some torches over here. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Try out my new sword. By the way, I've been doing some upgrades. I decided to go ahead and make a new ender sword. I set the other one aside. <clears throat> I made a new ender, and I have been re-enchanting it, because the first one got smite on it, and after the fact, I realized if I had smite on it, I couldn't get sharpness. So, I actually ditched it, made a new one, empowered it, and I've been putting a lot of... I've been doing a lot of experience grinding with our uh, little lasso system here. Getting a lot of experience. I am a little clogged up today. Let's put this stuff away. And, um, actually, no, only need one. Just gonna grab those. So basically, I have been redoing, between last episode and this episode, I've been redoing a lot of stuff. I've been monster hunting quite a bit, and uh, it's been a little time consuming, but it's been for the best. That's how I've gotten the experience for the new chest plate, the boots, 
Um, I've actually got Fortune 3 up on this now. I've got uh, still only a spoon, but I do have Empowered 3 on this. I've got my sword now tricked out. Ugh. Thank you, Armor. Thank you very much. Um, by the way, I made these trees. I don't know if you guys know you can do apple... Where's that? Apple sapling? You can actually get an apple and an oak tree. And you can make an apple sapling tree. So I can walk over here and uh, let me find one that's... There's one. Just left click on it. Punch it. No, no, yes. There's one. All you gotta do is left click on it once. Either with an empty fist or with fruit. <laughs> so, um, what are we going to do? Why do I have this weird thing set up like this? Well, it's the relocation controller. If you make this thing, actually, hang on a sec. Bert, ah, you, come here. And you, just in case. So, relocation controller. I know, right? That's four iron and one redstone to make a compass. Then you have four ender pearls, four blaze powders, and then four diamonds. Yikes. So you get this thing. We're going to put it right there. And we're going to take a sip of coffee. Hmm. Such good coffee. Um, we have the relocation controller. Link locked formed. None of the above. You'll see it has these kind of shrunken blocks around it. Well, let's get all of our parts here. Those, I can walk through these. These aren't real. They're just guide blocks, basically. It tells me where, whoops, see, that looks wrong. So, put that there. Put those here. Thought that was an Enderman for a second there. Glass right here on the corners. Then what we need to do is put one up there. Whoa. Oh, I'm missing a piece of glass. That's why I can step up on it. I'm gonna do that, that, that. The last thing left it's either a gold or diamond block. I chose diamond. Don't ask why. So we have this thing. It's kind of weird looking. Well, what you can do is you get a player relocator. Shift, right click. I am now linked to that. Whoops, I held the thing down a little too long. Locked in form. So now, this is locked in place. I cannot, nobody else can actually, because only one person can be linked to one of these things at a time. Now, I'm in a single-player world, but just in case, I want a little bit of security. So if I shift right-click on this to unlock it and lock it, this means only the owner that's locked it can unlock it. Only I can have my player relocator. A blaze rod. Yes, that's right. I went into the nether. I found another fortress. Um, Two ender pearls. Four gold. A diamond and a fire charge. So now this thing has a 10-minute timer. It's got a cool down. Mm. Such good coffee. But I have an emergency, or I guess a one-way teleport, back home, back here to the platform, whenever I want to. I just hold right mouse, right mouse button down on this thing, and that will warp me back to the house. Automatically. It's got a timer. I think I think the timer keeps going in my inventory. Yes. So the timer's still going. I heard somebody. By the way, I have a little bit more dirt. I'm going to do a little bit more work up here. So, I went digging, basically. Um, somebody had a good suggestion. Get an ender quarry from, from Extra Utilities and use it as a normal ender quarry. Get all the ore. But then, because basically when it pulls something out, it replaces it with dirt. Then get a digital miner and use it as dirt excavation. This is where I was doing testing 
to make sure our player relocator would work for our purposes. It does. By the way, I put up some acacia woods right around this ridge opening for the ravine. Did that specifically so I can kind of spot, oh, I need to go around that stand of trees. That's for my own sake. But, yeah. Um, the farm is doing just fine. The animal pen is working like a champ. I think I showed you guys. Whoopsie. I have this little thing right here. Why are you? Let's go to the right pack. There we go. Thank you very much. So. Whoops. Hit a chicken. I mean, uh, hit a... Oh, there's a zombie. Okay. So what I've been doing is I'm getting eggs and firing them at the back of the chest. Uh, you'll get chicks every once in a while. The chicks grow up. And then when I have excess chickens, the extra get killed. And I get food and feathers. Works out real well. Whoopsie. Oh, that one's gonna... Yeah. Oh, well. It's a free chicken now. Free range. There we go. This setup has been working so well. I went into the nether. I made a revelation. I had a revelation, by the way. Hello, Mr. Spider. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys can see it. Dark pressure plate. Only activated by players. Can be painted in a painting machine. Invisible with quite clear glass. These are dark pressure plates. Only react to players. Nice, huh? So, yeah. Um, I went into the nether... I needed to gather some soul sand. Needed to find a honest-to-goodness fortress, nether fortress. And uh, I did on both of those. Found a whole bunch of nether wart. Let's see. I'm going to grab that. And then we need to get all this stuff. And we're going to put it all in there. Boop, boop. Uh, we put that one up. This is for a project we might tackle here in a minute. We'll see. Um, I have now, if you look, I have a, a skeleton spawner. A cave spider. Two of them. Zombie spawner. A witch spawner. Skeleton. Oh. Skeleton zombie. Wisp. Cave spider. Wisp. Blaze. Uh, two blaze. Witch. Zombie. Skeleton. All sorts of stuff. Now, to make matters even nicer, I have a soul vial that's got a zombie pigman and an enderman in it. So I am going to start up, start making a mass collection of mob spawners. I want one for zombie pigmen. I want one for witches. I want one for endermen. And, um, blazes. Definitely. So we're going to have to work on that. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do first? First thing I want to do is top myself off. Make sure that I am fully charged. My goggles are dying quickly. There's a possibility that there will be an upgrade to the Dark Helm from Ender.io to roll these in and make it a part of it. We'll see. Um, hmm. let's see. What do we want to mess with first? First things first, uh, we have our teleporter. Oh, is that... Ooh, three minutes. I'm actually going to get it and put it right down here on the bar to remind myself. Also, steamed beef. Yeah, uh, we are definitely getting cramped for space in here. I don't like having all this power stuff up above the machines. I'd much rather have it down below the floor, but eh, we'll get there. Um, yeah. This thing is still chugging away. We have 18 buckets in there. A full 32 buckets in there. And this guy's full. Now, uh, there's a couple of things. 
Yeah, I'm trying to think of where I'm going to... If I have to add another machine, where am I going to put it? Hmm. It might well be time. Let's see. I'm going to get one of those. Get one. Whoops. One of those. Let's go over to the painting machine. Grab J Random Axe. Whoopsie. Yeah, see, that's what I didn't want to do. Let's get this. I'm going to put that right there. Pull him out. So now, yeah, that looks good. I actually do, I need to get in the out of the habit of right clicking. It's pretty bad. Um, making a little bit extra sand. I am now going to get a stack of gravel and run that through. And let's see, we. I'm going to go back to Ender IO. There we go. Tell you what, I'm going to go get some parts together. I'll be right back. Okay, I've been hard at work on this. And on this. I am actually going to move the monster spawner. It is a shorter and easier cable run coming over here than it is to go over there to where current existence is. So the monster spawner is moving locations. I'm going to nestle it right here on the side of the mountain. I might extend the stone up a little bit and maybe even this out a little bit. It, it looks a little too uh, kind of carved out right now. But eh, this is what I'm going to go with for now. Monster spawner is going to go right there. And I've got pipes coming up through here. What am I going to use those for? Well, I'm actually going to use those for something called Killer Joe. Killer Joe is going to be a very good friend of mine. At least I hope he is. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I actually need to have one of those. So right now, if I go down here, this goes all the way back into our new basement area. Now, this is only half of it. I'm going to extend that way under the rest of the house. Uh, and I'm also probably going to move the power gen. I think that's going to be something that's definitely in our future. Since these cables uh, extend up through the floor to the machines, that's a jaded ladder from open blocks, by the way, I can move the battery bank, all the power supply, everything under the floor. And uh, so that means that it'll be nice, it'll be hidden. I'm probably going to put this stuff under the floor also. But for right now, I need one of those. Which one is... Oh, it's... There we go. The wrench actually moves it. Didn't know that worked. So, okay, actually, before I go do that... Um, right here, I have made a powered spawner. Now, this requires two <laughs> vibrant crystals. Oh, gosh. This is... Right here, this represents one piece of gold, one piece of glowstone, one piece of redstone, and one enderpearl. That's what all those nuggets make. And then one emerald. And I have to make two of those. Then I get any monster head, a, a zombie controller made in these slice and splice. That is two solarium ingots, zombie head, two silicon, and a redstone, plus a little bit of power. You get a zombie controller. Well... What you do is you get an empty spawner and you combine it with a broken spawner piece. These you get just from ordinarily breaking spawners with any pickaxe. It doesn't have to be Ender IO pickaxe. Any pickaxe and you'll get a broken spawner piece. Combine these together 
And I need, oh gosh, I need 20 levels. This is the eternal problem. I don't think I have 20 levels. So I am going to have to go get 20 levels. Okay. I have 20 levels. Broken spawner. Powered spawner empty. You got a powered spawner. Blaze. Probably should have changed the name on it, but that's okay. I have, uh, let's see, put that back where I don't need it anymore. We'll need that. We'll need that. Okay. What I'm going to do is put that right there. I actually need grab a couple of extra of those. Do I have a stick? Yes, I do. One of those gets me what a lever. And um, a couple pieces of dirt. Dirt will do nicely. Now, I'm going to disconnect this because I do not want this thing firing off all of a sudden. I'm going to put that. Then we're going to do active with a signal, which means if I come down here, put that there. Now that's off, which means that it should not get any power. Active with a signal. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Where did you go? Okay. Apparently I need another lever. Mine disappeared. I'm gonna make... Oh, gosh. This mouse, I can't get... <laughs> it is almost impossible for me to get just one piece of cobblestone or something out of a barrel. So now I think, I don't think I can put that in the same space. I'm going to have to put that there. And actually, this might be a good time to make some redstone conduit. Hey, let's see. Redstone alloy. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I think it's just an issue. That, that. So, what I'm going to do now is basically I'm going to have, we have the spawner right here. But what I want to do is change it to where I have Killer Joe sitting here instead of using the little chest from Better Chests. Well, why is why is that? Because not only does Killer Joe kill the monsters, he kills it in a 5x5 five five area in front of him, right? He also will... Uh, what's what I'm looking for? Hold experience. And he holds up to... He has no limit to the amount of experience he can hold. So I don't have to worry about having a secondary tank. I don't have to worry about um, running out of liquid space for liquid experience like I do with the other one. It's a much better system. Then I also... Oh, that's where my lever went. Thank you very much. Thought I was going bonkers. Um, I also need to make a vacuum chest. I'm going to put it right there on the floor and pull the items out via uh, item conduit. Uh, so it will grab all of the items that are being farmed. This is going to be a blaze farm first because I have no source of blaze rods. 
Um, I can get blaze powder from these nice little flowers you find in the desert. Where are they? Called cinder pearl. Uh, you just pick these up in the desert, and if you just put one on the crafting grid, you'll get blaze powder. It's a really nice source of blaze powder. But I have no consistent source of um, blaze rods. Let's see. We do this. You can actually get Yeah, a lot of uses, but still, no source of blaze rods. Yeah. Okay. So, in theory, I'm going with the temporary setup right now. This is the from the old area right over there. This is the actual chest that had the stuff in it. Vacuum hopper, little liquid tank. For right now, this is going to have to suffice, unfortunately. Um, because... I don't have the experience to make a Killer Joe. And uh, I'm going to need some experience before I can make a Killer Joe. Hopefully with this running a little bit, I'll get some experience for next episode. We'll see. But right now, we have the spawner. I have the same chest that ki did the killing from over there. It's an upgraded better chest. It's got the energy upgrade, the AI upgrade, and the killing upgrade. If I pull this lever... I think. Yep. We got blaze spawners. Now that is just a blaze. Oh, that back wall is a little too far. Hmm. How can I assure... Oh, I know what I can do. I wonder if I can make one of those. Enticing crystal. A soul vial of a villager. Yeah, see, I have to find a villager and capture him with an emerald in the soul binder. I can't do that yet. Um, hmm. Let me think. Humana, 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 humana. Man, I might. Whoops. Still not used to actually having a plate there. Uh, what would happen? I made. So I basically need some slabs. Can I just do that? I can. And put that there. Get some iron ingots. And do I have any more? Put that away. Put that away. Oh, we actually have a blaze rod now. Hooray! Um, did I? There we go. So I have fans. I'll tell you what I'm just gonna do. For right now.
The only thing I don't like about these is that they have a super long range. So now we spawn some blazes. See? I get pushed back to about the lever. Now the spawner is real slow. Let's go downstairs and see. By the way, see, look at this. This is why I don't like the fans. Eight hundred RF per tick maximum. I actually don't know. These things cap out at six forty. I think we're gonna have to get some more power conduits. This looks like a sign that we might have to upgrade our infrastructure, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna work on that between this episode and the next. Thank you very much for joining me on this interesting episode of Agram's Chance. I really appreciate you guys swinging by and spending some time with me.